Hello everyone, this is DA from Academy. In the previous video, we have discussed metric space, and now this video is the first episode of the most important example related to the metric space. So, very first example that we are going to talk about is usual metric on R. We know that R is a set of the real numbers, and we have a metric D from R cross R to R, where D is defined when we take two elements from R. Then the absolute value of x minus y is the metric that I have defined for R. Now here R and D is the metric space. Now we'll see how to prove it as a metric that the function D here from R cross R to R satisfy the property, the three basic properties of being a metric. So the first property is that metrics should always positive and we can see that by definition this metric is always positive for all values of x and y and the second part of the first property is that the metric if it is equal to zero then we have to prove that x is equal to y so given is the metric is equal to zero and we know that metric is equal to absolute value of x minus y where x and y belongs to r so this absolute value of x minus y is equal to zero this implies that x minus y is equal to zero and this implies that x is equal to y so this was a very obvious property to prove and this is also sufficient as well because if x and y is equal to zero so we can prove that the metric is equal to zero so on the same line we can prove its converse so the first property has been proved we can prove the second property now the second property is about symmetry that is d of x y must be equal to d of y and x so if we take this d of x y by definition that we have defined here x minus y where x and y belongs to r so if we take negative common from this we can get y minus x and the absolute value of negative is the negative of that value so we'll get y minus x and that is equal to d of yx so this implies that d of xy is equal to d of yx and symmetry holds in this function d here now proving the third property so third property is about triangular inequality that if the metric of xy is less than or equal to the metric of xz and the plus the metric of yz where z is any point other than xy where x, y and z are all members of r so if we get x and y and by definition we know that it is equal to absolute value of x minus y and this is equal to x minus z plus z minus y the absolute value and by triangular inequality we know that this thing is less than or equal to x minus z plus z minus y and this is equal to d of x z and this is equal to d of z and y so in the end we can write it as the d of x and y is less than or equal to d of x z plus d of z y the third property is also proved now so finding all the three properties we can say that where d is a metric on r and it is known as a usual metric so, so this is for now we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye